Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Agra, the home of Kinder and Harry's for Kinder and Harry's versus Salford City this afternoon. Hope for all those Derby Blues behind you. A few reds out there, a few blues. You'll be hoping the Blues of Salford City today can try and bring you another three points. In terms of teams, one change for Salford from Tuesday night's draw against Halifax Town. Rich Wellens comes in in place of Matt Warburton. As uh, Kinder had the ball anyway. But that is what referee Darren Strain says. Kinnamins are back on the way. Williams trying to bring up the right hand side. Cuts in field of Rich Wellens. He makes a really good challenge there. And the referee peeing license for it. He read the ball well. Got his leg across and took the ball away from the feet of Williams. I don't quite know why that's a free kick, but it's a very good opportunity for Kinnamins. Harry is just to the right hand side of the goal. And uh, doesn't look like the Kinnamins, the uh, attackers, are going to make it easy. They're going to stand in the way right till the last minute. Sets it to the side, shot comes in from McQuilkin, who just about squeezes it into the far post. James McQuilkin with a sumptuous strike, and Kinnamis Harris have the lead with, have the leads with their first attempt on target here at Agra. Rather contentious decision in the first place to give the free kick, which I'm sure Anthony Johnson, Bernard Morley will be aggrieved about. Uh, but it's off and dealt with it well as with Jay Lynch. Plays out immediately to Sam Walker. Jordan Hume still not happy that he didn't get a free kick there. That was definitely worse than Rich Wellens's, Wellens's challenge just a minute ago from which Kinnaminster scored. But it's off on the break now. Phoenix out to right hand side to Craig King. King take on his goes to the shot. Not too far over the crossbar. It's a really good run from Craig King, but he couldn't quite keep it down. Uh, Priestley just waiting for the referee signal. Just giving a few warnings out about pushing and shoving inside the box. These new directives. This one's directed into the near post. It's flicked on up in the air. Keeper not coming for it. It's flicked out. Comes to the right hand side. So Richard Wines think went for the overhead kick there, but Kinnamins are breaking now. Elton Nugatala over the halfway line. He's past Scott Burton. It's only got Stephen O'Halloran to beat. Top of the box now. Nugatala beats O'Halloran. Goes to the shot. Can't quite get it on target though. And just misses Jay Lynch's near hand post. Nottingham throws it into space, finds King, gets in his feet, turns out of trouble, plays it back to Nottingham, low cross comes in, flips on by Johnny Hume, it's dealt with by Kinnamins captain Keith Lowe, only to Nottingham on the corner of the box, goes for the shot, always rising over the bar though, not a bad effort from Michael Nottingham, but maybe could have been a little bit patient, and I think that's summed up the game so far, it's been possession, possession, possession for either side, Kinnamins Harris are growing back into it, and so I've just been unable to read do anything about it. Sam Walker, good range out, goes to the shot, bounces up into Sam Horton, he's uh, mid-drift though, to the feet of Ryan Crowsdale. Crowsdale gives it away though, Jordan Hume, a lot of space in the middle now, goes to the shot, low, straight into Keith Lowe, gets the block in. So a header clear by Crowsdale, who was impeded, I think, by Jordan Hume's high foot, referee says. So it's going to be a free kick for Kinnamins to Harriers on the edge of the box, which is taken quickly. Um, Williams plays the ball into the feet of Tyrrell Waite, taking on Stephen O'Halloran at the moment. Gets the byline, gets cross in, free header at the back post for Marnie Dizueve, and he can't keep the downer on target. It's really disappointing from the 6'5 striker.